I don't. Yeah, no, but no them. other car can hear us. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, no, I ram. No, there was cars behind me. Them. Where? Right now, I'm feeling kind of, I guess, more on the angry side because she just doesn't take things seriously. And sometimes you have to take things seriously. Stop! I don't! All right, guys, are you ready? Yes. No. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. So today the girls are at my house right now and we are about to head out to go to San Francisco and we're super excited. We're doing it on our own and no parents. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm a little bit nervous and a little bit excited just because this is kind of like real adulting that we have to book our own hotels and stuff. Are you scared to like drive? Don't oh say God, I have to put on my seatbelt Don't say I die. you're scared. You're the one behind the wheel, homegirl. I know, please are, don't kill me. Are you like good to like drive like long distances, Victoria? Me? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Going into this trip, I think definitely it was kind of like redeeming from Miami. I think we all kind of learned something from Miami. We are completely in a better place. I think everyone's just so neutral with each other. Everyone's really talked it out and I feel like it's gonna be a lot better. All right, do you guys wanna go get something to eat before we go? Yes. Heck yes. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. Some Starbucks would hit. Oh yeah. Mm, yes. But make sure you guys don't drink it too fast because we're gonna have to pee really quickly. Going into the trip, definitely I feel some type of way towards Iran just because of how like she treated me in Miami. I'm not really a vocal person. It makes me kind of nervous. But it's really cool that your mom let us spar her car, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she was okay with it. Yeah, nice. Marlene's down. And my parents like literally yeah. don't trust us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I asked I asked my parents if we could take the Yukon and they're like, Ap like after Miami, they literally nothing. So for this trip, my parents are not going to be helping us out at all because they did everything for us from Miami and this time we have nothing because we broke all the rules and they're just mad at me still, so. I'm surprised my mom let me go on another trip, to be honest. <laughs> they're mad because we had boys in the house, they got tattoos, we did everything that they told us not to do. Five hours to, to go! go. We're literally gonna kill each other. We are. Feeling it. I think that we're all on the same page about it being a girl's trip, so. No 99 Goon Squad, no Xavier, none of that. We're all just gonna stick together and like, make it a group thing. Aram, are you okay, bro? I'm just hangry. Ooh. I don't like this Aram, bro. I'm just like, you know, it's only an hour in, and I'm like, all right, let's head back to Glendora. <laughs> when Aram is hangry, her personality is very vocal and is like 10 times worse. She will like snap and it's super scary. She can come off really strong. When you see Aram, you gotta give her like a little snack or two or five. <laughs> All right, so everyone know what they're gonna order? Duh, the usual. Yeah. The usual. <laughs> the 20 pumps. <laughs> 45 pumps of vanilla. <laughs> Iran's order is definitely ridiculous. Ice vanilla latte with four pumps of extra vanilla, something like that, right? And I do an ice vanilla latte with four extra pumps of vanilla, light ice. All right, and what size is that? Grande. No. Four extra pumps. I'm sorry? Four extra pumps. One extra pump? Four. She wants four extra pumps. Four extra pumps? Four extra pumps? Extra. Victoria, are you okay, saying? Okay, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight that's right. Pumps. That's right. That's oh right. Oh my gosh. gosh. Eight pumps? That's I ran. Right. Yeah, that's right. You're a psycho. Okay, next. Eight total? Crackhead. That's crackhead status right there. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh my yeah. Okay, you got credit card. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone say thank you, Marlene. Thanks, thank Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. Okay, pull it out. Okay, can you get it? It should be down there. Where'd you put it? I don't know. Somewhere in here. Your bag? Do you want your us bag? to check back here? Yeah, maybe. Check your bag. I'll check my bag. Oh, my Wasn't it here though? Did you have it? Oh, we're next. Oh my god. My mom gave me a credit card for emergencies only. And I definitely thought it was emergency because you can't be falling asleep at the wheel. Oh my god. We know for real where is it? I don't know where it is. Girl. Who's paying? I got to the window and I couldn't find it. We lost the card and it's so embarrassing. Like five minutes into the car and we're really, we're already losing stuff. Like what is that? 
So this trip is like all on us. We have to pay for everything, hotels, like we're, they're just not offering any help. Okay, um, we got our food. <laughs> oh, Iram's not hangry anymore. She's hangry. Now Iram can be in a better mood. Iram's like, shut up guys. Cheers <laughs> to the freaking weekend. Mm-hmm. Ghost trip. Yes! 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 <laughs> cheers! Cheers! <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm not nervous to be the first driver on the road trip because it's my mom's car. I'm nervous for the other girls that are gonna drive my mom's car. It's Iram's driving that's kind of a little more scary because she doesn't drive a lot. Let's go see Okay, my stomach ready? really hurts. Oh no. Is it because you ate it really fast? No, it's because I have to freaking fart. Iram has a serious gas problem. She likes to burp and fart a lot. I'm kind of concerned at this point. <laughs> oh, I farted. Vivian, it's like... And we can't Fuck. put the windows down. <laughs> it doesn't even smell. Don't even act. She just coughed. I just coughed. So Vivian, who was the guy at Alyssa's little lunch party? Yeah, girl, what's the deal? He's just a friend. Oh my god. Yeah. So that dude is my man. Honestly, well, he's my boyfriend. <gasps> yeah, we've been going Shut out for a while. Up. But look, the reason why I didn't say anything is because every time I say something, I always jinx it, you know, like, yeah, I've, like had, okay, yeah. I've had really bad relationships in the past and you guys know that. Yeah. Like you guys have all seen Pride with me or whatever, but like, this one, I, I'm really sure about it, and I think that's why I made it more public you wanted, like, with yeah. you. Okay, I love Vivian, and I want Vivian to be happy, and I tell the girls all the time, like, if it makes you happy, I'm 100% supportive, and I pray that it works out, you know? It's really different. Like, I finally know what it's like to, like, feel genuinely happy. Oh, happy. Like, I learned how to love myself, and he's just kind of amplifying that for me. He's helping you. Learn. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm saying you can't, love, so you can't love someone else if you don't love yourself. There you go, yeah. and, like, for like a year, I was single and I learned how to love myself, but with him, like he's just helping me out a lot. Like, it just feels good. Like, I feel so new. Like, I feel like I've never been in a relationship. Like, it's just all so new for me. So I'm learning as I go to, and I love it that it's with him. He's really supportive with everything. He seemed like a really nice guy, which I think is like something she really needs in her life. So I'm excited for him. You know, if he makes a, a Vivian happy, that's all that matters. I just don't want her, because she's been through so much. I don't want her to, you know, go through another like situation, and that's what I'm scared of. Yeah, like, what's with you and AJ? So AJ is my boyfriend that I've been with for a year and seven months now. We're really good. I feel like I don't know our relationship is just like really good. We don't. I think we've only had like one or two like really really big fights, and you know how couples like sometimes fight a lot, and uh -huh. we don't. Like I don't know. It's it's really like. New because I know with my ex boyfriend, like we all I felt like we always had tension and everything. Yeah. And me and AJ don't like we're honestly just genuinely yeah, the best good. friends. Yeah, you guys look like super chill. He's very, very special to me. I feel like in certain ways, he reminds me of what I've wanted in like a husband, or like he reminds me of my dad in certain things and how genuine he is. And it's really hard to be patient with me. And I think I like fall in love with him even more because he's so patient and so kind to me. So I definitely am in love. But yeah, I'm just like really happy with this. I feel like we're doing really good. But what about you, Shani? Any like a love interest? Anything? He's a really cool guy, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, he's so fine, I can't. Cause I can't! Um, but no, he's cool, I'm taking it slowly. Cause you know these guys be playing. What about you, Iram? We were really young when we started dating and like, it's just weird cause like I literally am like with his family and he's always over at my house. So it's gonna be really different when like we're not together anymore. I never thought we were gonna last this long. He's going off to college, which is really exciting. I'm really happy for him. Where's he going? To San Diego. Oh, okay. So 
Oh yeah, he's playing baseball out there. I think it's a little bit far, but I mean, at least it's not out of state. I think Isaac and I are gonna try to do like long distance. And I just feel like long distance, honestly, low key like works it out works, really well. Yeah. Because every time you see that person, you like miss them and you want to yeah. be with them. And like those feelings like, don't go away. It's sometimes it's hard keeping up with it though, huh? Because the schedule's gonna maybe be Maybe really it'll be hard, but I think if you guys want to make it work, which obviously, obviously you guys do. Well, when I do move to like college, I think it's gonna be really hard. I really hope that Iram and Isaac can make it work long distance, but I think it's gonna be harder for Iram. Isaac and Iram, I don't know, I don't, I wanna say I really want it to work out, but I just, in my heart, I don't think it will. I mean, whatever happens, happens, and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and if it's not, you know? What about you? Me? <laughs> yeah, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> that girl out there? That is it. <laughs> um, me? Yeah, I've been single. I've been single for almost a year now. Which is good. Like, I just talk to like different guys to see if like it'll work or not. I am enjoying the single life. I'm just going on vacation with my friends, going out all the time, just kind of doing my own. I like it. I haven't been single in a long time. If you think about it, I was like dating guys from like sophomore year until like last year. So like yeah, four, you're, you're almost love. four years I was dating someone. Someone. But I like the like how you are, you're not like being upset about it. Oh no, I'm not upset. No. Usually you get upset about being single and I just like how you're like embracing it. Yeah, it's whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Like do you have a glow, honestly? Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know that glow. That soltera glow. Like after a breakup, you know, a couple of months into like being single, you get this glow. And I had it. And it's like when you're like thotting and bopping, living your best life, and like doing you basically, hot girl summer. I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> Kevin Castro is a crew member for Life After Quince. He uh, does the camera work and he makes us look really nice. We've known him for years. He's basically family. And, you know, we tend to joke around with him a lot because he's like, he jokes around with us, so we joke around with him. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to turn on the windshield wipers and then I started messing with the buttons when he was setting up cameras. And the second that I turned the knob, the water started shooting out at him. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. What? Tell him. I really didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, I'm really sorry. What do I even tell him when I see him? Just be like, hey, yeah. Nick, I'm so sorry that time. I didn't mean it. Yeah, just say what you told us. Like, yeah, I really didn't say, mean like, it. I saw that you were mad. Like, I really didn't mean it. Like, for real, this one? Yeah. But, like, do it just like you and him, not Genuinely. like in front of everyone, yeah. I would get mad too. That was not okay. Oh my god, I feel so bad. God, the one time I'm literally, like, trying to f figure this thing out. And then this whole trip, he's gonna be so bitter and he's gonna get my ugly side. <laughs> That's what you're worried about. <laughs> it is so hard for Iram to apologize because she comes with every excuse in the book telling us why she doesn't have to apologize and that everyone should know how she is already. He sent a photo. What? What did he send? A video. A video. Let me see it. He's not crying. He's just he just looks pissed. pissed. Let me see. Wait, he just has his head down. Oh my god, this is so bad. What should I tell him? We should buy him something. What should I tell him? Not buy him. Should I just go give him a hug? Yeah. Yes. Who 
what should I say? A hug and be like, I'm so sorry. Hey, Kevin, can I pull you to the side for a No, minute? that's too serious. Yes. It's, it was serious. You hurt his feelings. What do you mean I hurt his feelings? Like he was trying to do his job and then like you Dude. accidentally threw water at him. Now you need to apologize. I don't, I'm not going to pull him to the side though. Okay, but I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna you're, right? you're gonna apologize. Period. I know I have to apologize, but I just what am I gonna f say? Girl, you're gonna figure it out. I ram and apologies don't work out, so she ended up doing it. Thank God. It was like it was so awkward. I walked up to her and I was like, I'm sorry. I hope she learned her lesson. <laughs> What do you guys plan on doing? Like, do you guys want to have like fun, fun, fun or like girl fun? Girl fun. You know, I think a girl fun. Girl fun. We're making this a girl, Remember, girl trip. Remember, it's a girl trip. Okay, so basically, <laughs> the place like, yeah. of Miami. Redo of Miami. Redo girls, Miami. girls, 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 girls. Girl. 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 I'm happy we're all friends again, though. And Victoria doesn't have like yeah, this some trip malicious plan. Yeah, because oh, no, no. it should be really kind of boring. It gets dirty. They ask. She said. She, she was like, can I? Can it's too I? soon. It's too soon. I'm sorry. It's too soon. It's too soon. I'm sorry. Low wire. Low key, she's in the, in the front leg. I'm like, <laughs> it might have been a little too soon, but I like to push buttons. <laughs> Why? Wait, are wait, on our way. We're gonna cruise, and we're cruise. gonna get some booze. <laughs> <laughs> Would you leave Isaac for David no, Dobrik? No. No. What? Shut up. Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but for real, Isaac knows my lit or I love my. I feel like he'd be understanding. Yeah. Like, you really like, you think your boyfriend would them. understand? Think, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're gonna leave. No, him? Isaac, no, it literally, if I got the chance to kiss David Dobrik, Isaac said, like, yeah, free whole pass. Yeah. Wow. Why guys? not? I would, I would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Let's okay, if look, I here. see Billie Eilish, is it fine if we yeah. ruffle? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, oh, three too far. far. What's that? To you. A like threesome. Three, no, no, it's not a threesome. couple. A three no, couple. Oh couple. my god, these. That's eat. pretty much a threesome. No, that is not a threesome. A couple of three people? <laughs> that is not Girl, a threesome. I don't want to have a threesome. No, a three couple. <laughs> oh my god, look how beautiful the shot is. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Honestly, I trust her. I'm driving. She's really good. Oh, we're finally going to get there. Yo. Never mind, I take it back. <laughs> I take all of that back. I ram can't drive, bro. Yeah, I ram driving. <sighs> Whoa! Chill! We're going down a hill. Whoa. I know! If I crash this car though, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Wait, actually? No, oh but really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah, no, no other car can hear us. I'm kind of nervous for Iram, to be quite honest with you. She's a little cray cray. Iram is driving, and all of a sudden. Iram! 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 No, no, Iram! No, there were cars behind us. Where? Well, she started swerving and like honking at people, and I swear I thought we saw a cop. Right now, I'm feeling kind of, I guess, more on the angry side because she just doesn't take things seriously. And sometimes you have to take things seriously. Oh, yeah, no. Stop, Iram! Yeah. We're getting pulled over, that's it, that's it. Iram didn't take my feelings into consideration. Along with Shani, she, uh, Shani was having a little bit of anxiety. I'm dead, I'm going to jail. My <laughs> daddy is gonna hate in. me forever. Literally two tickets on sale. I almost threw up, I was like, Iram, please! And she thinks it's so funny. Stop, Iram! I solemnly swear to never, ever, 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 ever get on a car with her ever again. <laughs> Nobody wait, wait, for real, I'll do it after this, but I don't know where I'm going. Okay, Straight, wait, right? First? Yeah. He told me north! He said north! I just said south ocean. We're good, right? No, we're not. No. We're bad. Aww. <laughs> we got lost! And now we're lost. Yeah, just to the boardwalk. But Santa, wait, Santa Cruz boardwalk. Oh my god. Honey. I love that we have no service. I know. No, the specific. Talk. I don't. Santa, what, Santa do you think okay, boys, everyone else can be searching right now. So we are almost to Santa Cruz and we cannot figure out how to get to our hotel. 
and we're just really lost and no one's GPS is working. It's, it's just there's no service, is what I'm trying to tell you. Like it's not even- The issue thing. is that if we get lost, it wasn't me. Oh God, please don't put that bear pen. <laughs> put it in! Put it in! <laughs> See, like I have no service. So Iram doesn't know where she's going. Our GPSs aren't working because there's no signal. Like we can't even play music. We're really scared, honestly. We're super scared and we're just gonna see what happens. Next on Life After Quince. Um, okay. I don't know how to say this. I didn't want to mention this to everyone. Okay. Um, I don't even know how to say this. Like, it's not that it's embarrassing, but like, I, uh, you make me nervous. Um, I think I'm late. Thanks for watching Life After Quince. If you want to watch more videos, subscribe to Awesomeness TV.